everybody, it's Ellie Diecast. We've got a little Triceratops in the jungle today. We're going to dive down here to the box o randomness. Get ourselves 25 Diecast cars. Bring them back up here, see what we got. I'm going to order them from my favorites to my least favorites. I guess it would be least favorites to favorites. And we're going to take a look at them. So these, these little segments seem to be more popular than the others, so I guess we'll keep doing them. Uh, one thing you'll notice, the background now on the diorama is a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing the green screen, at least for a while. I, I um, tore that setup down, put it away, and we've got a new background uh, setup. And you'll also notice that the dioramas will change a little bit from now on because we've got interchangeable parts as a secondary background back there. So new trees and stuff will swap in and out. Okay, so I am going to... Undo the camera here, probably do an edit, and we'll get down to the box. Alright, we've got... Gotta switch hands here. Okay, here is the box. You can see we've got, we've got a lot of stuff. We're gonna dig down. This is totally unedited. Let's see, we've got ourselves. There's our first handful. What do we got? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just pulled a helicopter, so we're looking for 26 at least now. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Don't believe. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and uh, we'll do that one. We got 27 here. I'll pick the 25 that'll work. I can see a helicopter in there already. Okay, let's get on up here to the stand. Let's find ourselves a swell little spot here. That Triceratops looks like he's in a pretty good spot. There we go. Okay, give me a second to order these. I'll be right back. Okay, I changed the camera angle just a little bit so we can see the tops of the cars slightly. So we ended up with 25 here. I did end up with a helicopter. I'm not even going to take it out. Usually our helicopters get donated, but there's our helicopter. Seems as though we're ending up with a helicopter with every one of these now. And, uh, oh, I just found an extra one. Okay, sorry, we've got... We've got 26, and at the end of this, I got a little bit of a surprise, because I have a feeling my number one pick may be controversial again, so we've got a surprise right after number one. Okay, so let's get started. We'll go through the first ones here real quick, because I have a feeling that about the first seven here, there's not much of a issue with. There is our first, I guess we're going from least to first, so that's our number 26, number 27, and that is the new treasure hunt that is out. Yes, I did pull that one out of the box. Uh, uh what is this guy? He's the Zombot, and man, he, uh, he really starts to put a face on the decline of the treasure hunt. <laughs> if you would like a Zombot, they are not hard to find. Uh, just go on down to Walmart. There's probably a whole bunch of Zombots down there. Nobody seems to want the treasure hunts anymore. Not even the kids want the treasure hunts. <laughs> Number whatever. But the next one in line is the Surf and School Bus. That's yeah, a little bit more of an improvement. Surf and School Bus from 2011, I think. For some reason, there's a lot of 2011s in this box. That one from 2011. Surf and School Bus, we see a lot. I notice a lot of the paint jobs on that one look similar. So, always tricky to figure out what what year we're looking at. Next up, we've got a little uh, generic. Has this one got a, got a name? No, it looks like a... Oh, it's a Motor Max. That one, a Motor Max. That one actually looks like it belongs in there. A little... Is that Suburban or a Land Rover? The Land Rover Discovery. 
a Motor Max. I think Motor Max is one of the generic brands from China. <laughs> so there's the Motor Max. Next up, we've got the Mazda Ferrari. Maybe it's not Ferrari. Fer Ferrari? I don't know. Mazda Ferrari. I think it's a Ferrari. F U R A I. That one is a multi pack exclusive, I believe. Don't remember the multi pack. I think that was a 10 pack, maybe a 9 pack if it's a little bit newer. Uh, neat. It's been played with. It's got a little bit of dings on the front. Probably don't show up too bad here in the video. The Mazda Ferrari. All right. Street Wiener is next. The Street Wiener. This is the new color variation on the Street Wiener. The other one had more saturated colors. This one's a little bit more muted. The tan buns there. Make your jokes as appropriate. The back of this opens up. I don't know if it will. Anyways, you'll have to trust me. That's the little fryer back there, and it'll open it up if you really want. So, <laughs> street wiener. There you go. All right, moving on. Nerve hammer. This one, I am going to guess, is from 2011 also, just because there's a bunch of them. I don't have any notes here for this one. Nerve hammer actually is one of my favorite fantasy cars. I tend to pick up all the variations of this one. Fast fish, nerve hammer, kind of the same for me. All right, well, now we're getting into some that I guess you could say maybe you guys will have a different take on them. This is the Dodge Ram 1500. That one from 2014-ish. Not that old. Pretty nice one. Here you go. You can put a little... It could be Hippo, hippo Rescue. Hippo Rescue. Oh, oh sorry, Hippo. Here. Get in there. There you go. Being carted off. Carted off to the Hippo Rescue Center. We've got Volkswagen Beetle. Volkswagen Custom Beetle, to be exact. Now, this one, as I grabbed it, that has redline tires on it. I do not believe there was a redline exclusive for these. There was, I think, maybe the year before or after this one came out. Also, I think there was a purple variation of this. I want to say there was something about that little stinger that was different. Maybe it came in plastic, or maybe I'm getting it mixed up with the tuned Volkswagen car that came out at about the same time. We've got a Dodge Charger. I think this is the second time in a row we've had one of these guys, so evidently I've got a whole bunch of them. This one from 2006. I don't have any more information on this guy. Dodge Charger from 2006. Mustang GT Concept. Another one from 2011. This one did come in a color variation. And I don't remember what it was. Don't, I'm not even going to guess. It came in a color variation, though, I think. It is, uh, it's got a fire department on it there. The Grand View Fire Department. They drive around in Ford GT Concepts. Very fancy fire department they got in that small town. All right, now we're getting into the ones that start to get more attention. So, this one is the Spider-Man car. That's actually its real name. Not released a lot, this one, but, uh, boy, it tends to show up a lot in these lots. I probably have about 10 of these at this point. Came out in 79 and 84. <coughs> the way you can tell the difference, the 84 version has the orange-ish window. The 79, I think, had a lighter window or kind of like a yellowish window from what I remember, but I don't have one of those. Blackwall tires, I mean, that's a pretty old car, 1984. So, the Spider-Man car. If you're going to name your car the Spider-Man car, I'm guessing only Spider-Man could drive it. It's little knees here on the 
spider kind of effect in the molding that those always get chipped up rolling around on the concrete spider-man chasing villains next up we've got the what is this? this is a camaro it is the uh 67 camaro opening hood on this this one we've seen quite a bit one of the more popular castings uh, interesting thing with this one is this comes in a variation that has no country on it. So, whoops, I flipped it upside down. So you can see there, that's the Malaysia casting. It says Malaysia down there at the bottom. There is a casting of this that has no country listed. Worth a little bit more, I think. This one from 1998, and that's the Race Team Series sub-series that came out in 1998. So that one's pretty old. That's like 20 years old. Pretty good shape. Hasn't been down a lot of... A lot of tracks, that one. Got a Woody from that one from 1999. I uh, I bet mixed in this box because we've seen a few Woodies here. I bought a lot of Woodies, like a, a group of Woodies, a few years back. And there was about 30 Woodies in that group that I bought and I bet they got thrown in this box too. The box is a combination of mini boxes. I pull from other boxes and throw them into that big box down there so that we always have variety. All right next up I gotta reorder these to accommodate this last car I found. We've got another Carvel ice cream. We saw one of these in one of the last videos. This one's kind of dirty I just noticed on top. Look at that. That's that one's been sitting around the shop. Those are filings from castings on there. So that one was sitting around the shop at some point. Uh, yeah, Carvel ice cream. This is the ice cream truck, obviously. It's got its little ice cream guy back there. Triceratops can get himself some, some ice cream. In fact, he can drive away on the ice cream truck. Carvel ice cream truck. Those get ripped apart for their tires. Oh, by the way, if you're looking at the tires, if uh, you're looking at this ice cream truck, it's got the skinny tires on it, which you may or may not want. Just something to remember, because it's got those gold rims, so it tends to be a big target of the buy a whole bunch of pop culture cars for your customs that no one wants. That one tends to show up a lot, but it does have the skinny tires. All right, we've got ourselves a Jada. This one is a Ford Mustang. I think this one is pretty nice. That one was a little bit further up the list when we started, but got knocked down. So there are some heavy hitters coming, and that is because this one has been in an accident. <laughs> this one uh, probably bought for its tires. I... I have a bunch of these Jada, same story as I just told you about those Woodies. Bought a huge lot of these, about a hundred cars, many years back. For the tires, I went through a phase where I really wanted to use these tires. I have uh, grown out of the phase because the tires are difficult to use, and I really don't like the tread pattern on them, but I do like the rims. And so all those cars that I bought got thrown in here for for looking at in the videos but that one is all beat up we won't care bought it for its wheels it's probably not going to go in the collection all right look at that old timer there <laughs> that one is from 1981 that is from the workhorse series a lot of people collect these in the cards those workhorse series they are not that easy to find this one obviously been played with uh this is all metal I mean, you can kill somebody with this. That, that is all metal, 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 metal base, metal everything on that. The front is even metal on it. So, it is the Workhorse Series. Uh, for some reason, I listed the top three songs from 1981. So, I guess as you were buying this from your, uh, well, what was around then? Kmart, Broadway, Piggly Wiggly, or your Mervins out here in... On the West Coast, you could listen to Betty Davis Ice, Endless Love, and Lady by Kenneth Rogers. Boy, 1981, we went through some top three songs of the year. We're all love songs. That would not happen these days. All right. So, next one. Now, these you can, you can have some controversy with these because I think that one beats out the workhorse. That is the 
Austin Healy. That came from the Camouflage 5 pack in 2007. I like that car. The Austin Healy. Next up, this was the one that was unrated. I have put it here in this spot. He got left out originally. And that is the Stingray from 1995. That is an old one. Over 20 years old for that Stingray. A little bit of wear here on the top. It's probably not going to show up much in the video. Stingray, this was a popular model. A lot of those made. And uh, they tend to be... A lot of solid colors on the older ones of these, and they tend the variations are either the wheels, the window color, or where they put that little Hot Wheels symbol. Stingray. He finally gets raided. Here is a very old Matchbox, Ma Matchbox Nissan 300ZX. And now here's a question for you. In the frenzy <laughs> that is today to buy Nissan, a Nissan 300ZX by Matchbox comes out on the shelves. People go crazy. It's got a, uh, I don't know, I was going to say it's got a broken window. It doesn't. It looks like it. Is. With this one, with a pink interior and a crazy, like, like it hit a zebra at 100 miles an hour <laughs> pattern on it. Would that one fly off the shelves? Throw in those those old matchbox wheels. Would this one fly off the shelves? There's a question for you. Customizers might want it. This, is, this little shock still works. This guy, this guy's in good shape. Well, I don't like the paint job. It does look like it hit a zebra going really fast. But I don't know. I don't know. That would be an interesting experiment. Does, does he crazy paint job outdo the popularity of a model. Well, talking about popularity of a model, here is one that quite honestly I've never really bought into. This is a 62 Chevy truck. This one comes out these days. People go crazy for it. That one from last year's uh, series. This is one that um, I, I've not really ever dealt with as far as collecting doesn't do much for me. Um, interesting, uh, I don't know if you've noticed that before, but it's got a uh, surfboard that's broken in the back. Does that show up? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> it's the Longboards. <laughs> Something got his surfboard. So 60, the official name of that is the Custom 62 Chevy Pickup. All right. Look at this guy. That is a Midnight Auto. It's a Toys R Us exclusive, in case you couldn't tell there. And uh, that also came in blue and green. I believe we've got all three variations on this tucked away somewhere. But the Midnight Auto, and I really don't remember if these all came in a set together, if they were just sold on cards. Toys R Us during this time period did a lot of promotions with Hot Wheels and usually they were sold in kind of different uh, packaging than the normal so I don't know with that one. Ford uh, start over. Ford Shelby Concept GR1 that from the 2010 Holiday Hot Rod series. It does have its little holiday symbol on it there that you can see right there underneath the 25. If you like this model, I think people will think it shouldn't be that far off the list, but it's my list. <laughs> We're down to the bottom four, or top four, I should say. Cop rods rolling into the picture. Uh, this one, the series with the rubber tires, I believe that was the first series of cop rods. They did put out a second series. I don't remember if there was a third and those did not have rubber tires, if I remember right. This one's got a little scuff on the other side, you probably saw. From the Atlanta Police. The Cop Rod series is very common to find in these lots. I think this is about the time collectors started really buying stuff in bulk when these came out. That was really the height of, of the Hot Wheels craze. 
And so as they bought them up, they've sat in storage for a long time, and now they tend to dump them at much cheaper prices. So uh, the this is a sh uh, doesn't have the name on the bottom. Oh, sh here we go. It's a Cobra. I could have just looked at it. It's a Cobra. That one from the Series Two Classics. That comes in number three on our list boy we see a lot of classics in these groups of cars too that was another series like cop rods i think people really bought these up of course they came in a bajillion colors and were right there for collectors to get and uh, you see a lot of them at shows they go for decent money some of them i pick them up if i can find them for a buck maybe two dollars but usually a dollar all right, number two, I have a feeling our top one is going to be a little controversial. Uh, remember, stay tuned. Also, we got a few things afterwards. This one is the Johnny Lightning. That is a Johnny Lightning. Let me see if I can identify what that is. It's listed on the bottom, but it's so small I can't read it. Well, nothing to give me much of a clue. Plastic wheels on that. Not that old. Can't do much with those plastic wheels. I, I don't like the Johnny Lightning plastic wheels for my customs, but I like that car. And number one, the winner. Here he comes. The winner is the, oh yeah, the very hard to find milk mover. From Matchbox. <laughs> that is from the Hero Cities line. His nose is a little beat up, but he is in pretty good shape otherwise. Hero City line. You guys that watch the show know I do collect the animals from the Hero City line. They are not easy to find, and so that makes them kind of expensive on eBay. Uh, people figure out that there are not a lot of these listed on eBay, so they list them for crazy prices. Don't ever buy them for that. I don't, anyways. I uh, find them at shows. They usually tend to show up in the uh, dollar bins. People don't know what to do with them. I think a lot of collectors forgot these existed. The Hero City line, that was Matchbox lineup for 2003. That was supposed to be the year that Matchbox really was going to break out. 2003 was a huge year for Hot Wheels. I'm assuming 2002 gave them some insight that was coming. Matchbox was going to catch up. And so they created a TV series called Hero City. And these animal cars, of which there's about 20 of them, I think. We've got most of them now. They were part of that TV show and part of the main lines. The, they did not go over well. <laughs> and so might cost a little bit to find them. I think that's more a matter of how eBay works. But when you find them at shows, we snatch them up all the time. I do love this series. I think that was a moment in time that we are never going to see again. And almost every one of these castings we never saw again. Uh, metal body, plastic back on this, plastic base, the milk mover. They put a lot of time into those, but... They did not catch on. So, I promise that was our number one for today. You guys can complain all you want. It's my show. So, I did tell you we had a surprise. Uh, a little prize at the end. So, if you've made it this long, I have some new customs now. A little bit of a story on these as we roll them out. These are customs that have been sitting on my workbench for about six months. I was working on them, no, that's, that's longer than that, it was about a year ago, um, and I was working on them when I started my new job that I've had now for well over a year, and then my schedule changed. I did not have as much time to work on the customs. I have made customs since, and the dioramas and so forth, but uh, these I just kind of slapped together and took them where they were at and basically glued them all together. So these were really meant for flames or tampos or something else. And uh, we're just going to put them together, get them off the workbench, and throw them into the, the bins here. So this one, a, is that a Stingray or a Charger? That is a, a, a not a Stingray, not a Stingray, a Roadrunner. I think that's a Roadrunner. 
and you guys can tell me. I uh, forgot the difference right offhand. The Roadrunner is a charger, but I'll, I've changed the wheels on it, repainted it, obviously. There you go. So there's that one. Here is one that might have shown up. This was one I threw together in the last couple weeks, actually. Not doesn't match my last story I told you. Uh, here is a all silver. <laughs> this one was painted really fast. Uh, this one was just a wreck. We cleaned up the windshield best we could. It's got a little opening back on it. That, there we go. A little opening back on that. That one is a majorette. There you go. Toyota Light Ace. I am pretty sure we do not have Toyota Light Aces here in the U.S. There is that one. Now back to my original story. Here's another one that was sitting on the workbench for a very long time. And this one, I'll show you an interesting thing that I noticed just this morning. I had to put these together this morning, just, just basically put some screws in them and dig up the various parts. The parts were kind of spread across the different parts of the workbench. Um, power panel, this one was a popular model that I used because it's got a great big footprint. It does have some flames on it there. You can see it's been polished. So this guy was almost done. I was probably working on this when I, when I got my new job. Um, but I don't know if it'll show up. I'll hold that still. Look at the back wheels as can compared to the front wheels can you see that this area here on the base is crooked can you see that it's really crooked and either i used a uh, you can see it there see this uh piece here is overlapping and that piece down there isn't the whole base is crooked um this either happened because it got warped sitting here in the garage i kind of doubt it or it was crooked to start with Everything still rolls on it. It's just, you'd never notice with it sitting on the shelf. So, put it together. Our last one for the one or two people that have made it this far is... And boy, this one was just supposed to be something special. <laughs> there is a drag bus. I hardly ever do drag buses as customs. I had big plans for this one. I don't remember what they were, but I uh, did get it painted. It has been polished, so the paint job is pretty good. I don't like those colors. I don't think they go together at all. That was the problem with this one, and it kind of sat and sat, and now we're just done with it, so I, I guess it's, it's fine. I don't like the colors, though. I think some people probably like it better than me. There you go. So, we'll leave that for, for today, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so a couple new things happening. We've got our new set here for the, the dioramas, we've got a couple new formats we're playing with, and I will see you all in the next show. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.